Almost 27 years after its first mission, the Space Shuttle Discovery's long career is coming to an end. The ship's 39th flight was heavily delayed, originally meant to take off in September 2010 before being delayed to October, but a series of technical problems kept the ship grounded. But on February 24th, well... Go for main engine start. We have main engine start. Two, one, booster ignition, and the final liftoff of Discovery. It took eight and a half minutes for Discovery to reach orbit, at which point it accelerated up to a speed of 17,500 miles per hour in order to catch up with the International Space Station. Discovery's mission is to deliver and attach new components to the station, as well as perform repairs, some of which required astronauts perform two six-hour spacewalks. On Monday morning, Discovery undocked the International Space Station to head back to Kennedy Space Center in Florida for the last time, with landing scheduled for Wednesday. NASA spokesman Bill Jeffs called the Discovery the world's most traveled spaceship. See, with the completion of this mission, Space Shuttle Discovery will have flown in space for 365 days. It will complete a total of 148 million statute miles. It will have orbited the Earth 5,830 times. Though Discovery's time in space is coming to an end, it still has in it one giant leap for mankind, as it is set to be donated to the Smithsonian. And to celebrate the ship's last day docked at the International Space Station, William Shatner gave the crew a wake-up call. These have been the voyages of the Space Shuttle Discovery. Her 30-year mission, to seek out new science, to build new outposts, to bring nations together on the final frontier, to boldly go and do what no spacecraft has done before. Brent Tennant, Humber News.